Hello everybody. My name is Bärbel Erik and I'm here with Michelle Sadauskos. We're from Oneida County Land and Water Conservation Department. And we are standing in the pollinator garden at the Oneida County Courthouse. Today we'd like to talk a little bit about the importance of late blooming flowers as part of your pollinator garden. So today is September 24th and our asters have just started to bloom here. And on our asters, this is a New England asters here in beautiful shades of purple and pink, there are swarms of butterflies and bees. The monarch butterflies that you see here swirling around have just hatched out of our garden. There we have a number of chrysalises hanging in different locations. And they are now feeding on nectar to get ready for their big migration. It's been rather cool, so the chrysalises actually took a lot longer time to mature than they typically would. And now that we have a finally a little bit of an Indian summer, they have hatched and really need to move soon. So it's very important for them to have a high potential of nutrition around close by where they're hatching. And from what we are observing is that they are mostly hanging out on the New England asters right now, which since they just opened, we are assuming have the highest amount of nectar ready to be eaten for them. Um, we also see a number of different native pollinators, a variety of bumblebees and sweat bees here, and some honeybees that we don't know where they're coming from, but there must be a hive somewhere close by. So this garden was established in summer of 2018 and you're getting an impression it's well on its way now and it really is a very beautiful example of build it and they will come as all these pollinators who are now finding food and nesting habitat did not have this place before and now they do. So yeah, if you have any questions, we have a list of different late blooming flowers on our webpage, oclw.org, and also you can contact us at 715-369-7835. Just to throw a couple of quick examples, I already mentioned the asters. Our sunflowers have not started blooming yet, so they will be the next one in line. And what you're probably seeing a lot along the roadsides is the goldenrod. And there are very many different species of goldenrods in this area. So goldenrod is a widely spread flower in the typical roadside habitat that will be a late bloomer as well. Yeah, so if you have any questions, please give us a call. Until next time, bye-bye.